We are here today at Peninsula High School to introduce you to a new principal. Mitzi Kress had some pretty big shoes to fill, but I have a feeling she's going to make the grade. You are born and raised here in the community, which is very rare, let alone you're a California girl and you're a girl from the hill. Where did you grow up? Where did you go to school? Well, first of all, I'm a fourth generation Californian. Wow. My family mostly was uh, from San Pedro okay. for four generations. Um, I grew up in Miralest, lived there all my life. Uh, went to Chadwick through eighth grade. Okay. And then when Miralest High School opened up, I went to Miralest High, talked my parents into letting me go to public school. Wow. <laughs> I was the uh, first class to start Miralest. So that class of 72 entered as a freshman, and there was only ninth, 10th, and 11th graders there. And wow. graduated from Miralest. And uh, then uh, here I am. <laughs> you even married your high school sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Talk about that. Yes, we, we met that first year at Merrill Est. He was class of 70. I was class of 72. So and an older man. Oh, yes, of course <laughs> an older man. I wouldn't go with somebody my same Absolutely age. Not. Two years older. Not cool. <laughs> no, not cool at all. Yeah, and here we are, you know, married uh, 38 years. Wow, and you've got, I know you have children and grandchildren. Talk about them. Um, I have three children, okay. uh, Dandy, uh, Devin, and Dan. And Dandy and Devin went to Chadwick, and Dan graduated from Peninsula High School. Wow, and you, they've got kids now, or how does that work? My daughter okay. has a, has a four-year-old. And you don't, you don't <laughs> spoil that, your grandchild, do you? Oh, yes, yes, <laughs> she's love. She's a, loved very much, love of my life, and Aww. I love spoiling her. and and then sending her home to her mom, Aww. very spoiled. That's, well, that's what you're supposed to do when you have grandkids, you know, is says sugar them up and send them home. So. Absolutely, and I can't wait to have more. <laughs> Are you encouraging this? Absolutely. <laughs> My son's getting married on October 2nd, and I'm, I'm terrible. I can't wait for them to start a family. Now, Mitzi, did you always want to be an educator, or how did you decide to get involved in this side of the business? You know, as a... Um, when I was in high school, I, uh, I knew that I wanted to help people, and I knew that I loved working with children. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I uh, left high school, I went on to Pepperdine, mm -hmm. and I majored in sociology, and I really enjoyed social work. And I was working with children with special needs. And then I transferred to Long Beach State and decided that I wanted to get an elementary teaching credential. So I started in elementary education, and I really enjoyed that. Uh, then I decided to move towards counseling and I became an elementary counselor and worked with Long Beach Unified. And then wow. as my oldest children, my older children, Dandy and Devin, who are now 36 and 34, as they became teenagers, I found that I really enjoyed working with the older uh, children. You know, wh why so? Why did you decide that older children were more need or? Well, I think I originally went into elementary counseling because I felt real comfortable. I think the teenagers scared me a bit. Yeah. But then as my own children became teenagers and I got involved with their activities and um, I was always volunteering to be the driver or working in different organizations, I found that I really enjoyed the teenagers. And of course, I was older too. Um, and so I decided to uh, ch make some changes in my credentials so that I would qualify to work also with high school. And so with Long Beach Unified, I then moved to the high school level um, at Jordan High School. Wow. And then it was in 1995, one of my class of 72 uh, friends, Sue Bowman, gave me a call over at Jordan and said, Mitzi, there's a counseling position open at uh, Peninsula High. You really should apply for it. So I applied, and I was hired as a counselor here at Peninsula High in 1995. Now, what are the biggest challenges that you find counseling high school students? Um, gosh. Uh, helping them find their way, mm -hmm. um, helping them look at the big picture, um, helping them think about what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are, and uh, finding that pathway. And when they have bumps in the road, being that safety net for them. Right. Uh, sometimes kids take on too much, helping them find that balance. Uh, 
You know, for some kids it might be helping them find motivation. For other kids it might be don't take on so much. Don't, uh, you know, d take it easy on yourself. Some of our kids push themselves a little bit too hard. And maybe even the parents pushing a little too hard as well. We, we have that problem sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's the parents and then we have to sit down with the parents and talk about, you know, what are our goals and gosh, we're seeing that your child's very stressed and, and parents are, are receptive. They are receptive, but you'd be surprised how often parents come to us and they seek our help right. because their children are driven. Uh, it's a, it's a self-motivation and uh, the parents are seeking our help and helping them uh, help their children find a balance. Well, you're kind of the mediator and I know that, <laughs> remember when I was in school, I mean, counselors are such, such a huge help as well. Mm -hmm. Not quite the parent, but not the friend, so the it, it, intermediate person. It, it's a great partnership. Yeah. And I think the counselors here at Peninsula High School um, work well with the parents, and they know that that is their, um, their job, to work as partners and, and to be a friend. Yeah. Somebody that the students can talk to. And the other thing I really like here at Peninsula High School, we have a safe schools counselor mm. that is a dedicated counselor that's here for all 2,400 students. Uh, she doesn't have an alpha caseload. She has no students that are specifically assigned to her. She's just there on a walk-in basis. Wow. And I think students really need that. They can walk in and talk to her about anything, anytime. And she also does a lot of our uh, evening programs for parents and our uh, support programs that we have for kids that are, are having difficulties. Uh, one of the programs um, involves uh, a partnership that we have with Stanford. Oh. It's our stressed out students. Uh, you wouldn't <laughs> surprise stressed out students. Yeah. Uh, it's a program that we have to help students who are stressed with all of the social pressures and right. the academic pressures that are part of um, a competitive high school like Peninsula High School. Sure. Well, so you're going along, you're counseling, you're a very busy mom, and then you find out that you have a brain tumor. That was just <laughs> last year. Talk about that. Um, that was a shock. Yeah. Um, I was uh, having headaches and I was dizzy and I am always a, have always been a very very healthy person so I knew something was strange and went to a doctor and uh, fortunately I have a family doctor who knows me really well and said Mitzi you're never sick this is strange so let's do an MRI and I'm very lucky he did an MRI and they did find a brain tumor and uh, through a series of um, events and uh, support from my children and a lot of really good friends. I found some great doctors and I had surgery on November 18th and it was very successful, um, very traumatic, life-changing experience. I feel very blessed to be here. Uh, every day is very, very special. Uh, I appreciate every moment I have and I have, um, I feel great. Um, they got the entire tumor. I didn't have to have any treatments. Um, I've been very, very lucky.